On Saturday, September 4, 126 councils across New South Wales will hold elections. The treatment of women in government has been called into question in recent months and women for election believe the fastest way to fix the problem is more balance in power. The more women that are running, the more that will get elected is a, is a great start in terms of the metrics. To get more women in our federal parliament, we need more women at a grassroots level. But the deterrents are undeniable. Aspiring candidate for Lismore Council Sally Flannery announced her intentions on Facebook. Hours later, the abuse began. Since then, I've had uh, like threats, phone calls to my employer saying that I could not run or I had to run with certain people and that um, if I did run, I would have my name publicly dragged through the mud and I'd be publicly humiliated for the next six months. As soon as she launched her campaign, out came a couple of local blokes who reckon they're, you know, community characters and they're not what they are, are bullies. But for anyone who thought their words would discourage Sally from running, it's only made her more determined. I think it strengthened my resolve, if anything. Um, for a little bit, it was definitely intimidating. And I think the most frustrating thing is seeing so many wonderful community members that would like to run that have been deterred and who have thought this was too intimidating and have pulled back um, from considering running. But for me personally, I think it's made me more um, determined to get involved and make a difference. Many current councillors, both men and women, have encouraged her to run. New South Wales is the worst state in the country when it comes to female representation in local government. Just 30% of those in council are women. As you get a broader lived experience in those chambers, you get broader policy being discussed, uh, people feel more represented, trust increases in those institutions and it all becomes a positive feedback loop. And then flip it on its head, if you have a homogenous group of people in there, you get homogenous outcomes. A number of women do have leadership roles in the community, which is why Women for Election has received funding from the New South Wales Government to conduct workshops in rural and metropolitan centres. We've already been to Lismore, Western Sydney, we're in the CBD today. From here we go to Bathurst, Dubbo, Goulburn, Albury, you know, we're covering a lot of areas. A lot of those areas have been picked because they're some of the LGAs that, that need the greatest help. Maybe they're running a local business chamber or the local PNC, they've got a business in town. Maybe they're running a local sustainability campaign. You know, maybe they've run drought or bushfire relief for their communities. Those are leadership skills that we want in our council chambers and need. So often they already have, they're doing nine tenths of what a good political representative does already. Charlotte Mortlock, Sky News, Sydney.